Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another of these Bandai figures that have come out. I'm not really sure when they came out, but I've been trying to collect them kind of slowly but surely because they're not that available here in the United States. You seem to almost always have to import them, and uh, I've been lucky enough to have a good friend like Dino Mike Mac who has been helping me out to acquire these as time goes on. But this time we've got a a little bit of a different looking version here for a Triceratops. And when I say different looking, sculpt wise it looks nice, but the paint apps on this one may not be the most realistic when it comes to Triceratops. You can see though that this one is a bit smaller than the other figures we've taken a look at. So far we have taken a look at a T-Rex and a Spinosaurus. Now the Triceratops is absolutely nowhere near the size of those other figures. This is a much smaller figure and there are actually a few in this size range and uh, we'll be taking a look at all of them here on the channel which should be pretty fun but again pretty interesting looking triceratops very unrealistic as far as the coloration goes but a pretty cool looking sculpt so let's jump to a closer look at it right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of the triceratops you can see some pretty decent looking skin texture nothing that really you know as absolutely amazing but pretty darn nice looking for the most part when it comes to the skin texture in the face you can see we've got some nicely sculpted nostrils as well and uh, we have almost a surprised sort of look i think on the face of this triceratops you can see the mouth is open quite wide we've got the tongue sticking out there there we go we can see the tongue sculpted on the inside of the mouth actually nicely painted as well and uh, the detailing looks pretty good as you look in there but you can't see it too well because it is a pretty small mouth but the positioning of the eyes also has kind of like a wide-eyed effect which sort of you know continues to give it that almost surprised kind of a look so maybe it's in the middle of a confrontation of some kind we have variations of pinks and purples through the course of the face of the triceratops and you can see again Pretty nice and smooth transitions back and forth when it comes to those colors, just not exactly what I would say would be the coloration potentially of a Triceratops, but since I've never seen one, I guess I really can't tell you for sure. It's just my personal opinion means that I don't think it's all that realistic. You can see the paint's chipped in a few spots on mine, like right here on the beak a little bit and up here on the top of the horn. But for the most part, we have kind of like a, almost like a light green kind of a tone for the beak as well as the horns. I will say the horns kind of look like they've got some okay detail to them you can see it there but it's not super vibrant same deal when it comes to the beak i think they uh you know you would have to use maybe some dry brushing or washes or something to try to bring that detail out a little nicer you can also see there is a very obvious seam here from the top of the head moving onto the body as you move back so that is something to take notice to and as you move up around the frill of the triceratops you can see all of the spikes here are painted which is nice to see a little bit of a uh, looks like maybe a paint mishap up here on the top as there's like some pink randomly showing up that's a little bit brighter right there but other than that you know the paintwork looks okay here in the face definitely not the best thing I've ever seen you can even see a pretty significant almost look like the horn might be loose right there but a pretty significant seam right there where the horn is connected as well but again definitely not the best paintwork I've seen not even the best paintwork I've seen on these Bandai figures but the sculpt is pretty nice as you move back here to the back of the frill you can see the skin texture on the back of the frill does actually look really quite nice I think that looks quite beautiful and again more variation of color as you have the pinks and purples meshing quite nicely back here and as you move down here into the neck you can see even more impressive skin texture I think the actual sculpting and detailing to the skin texture is really nice once you move back here into the body you can kind of make out the spinal column you can also see that pinkish tone kind of follow along the spinal column there of the dinosaur another seam where the neck is connected so that's a very obvious seam yet again no real attempt to even hide the seam but you can see some very impressive skin wrinkles and uh, skin folds and stuff here in the side of the neck the triceratops has its head turned to the left so you would definitely see all of that skin wrinkling which is a nice touch you can also see the shoulder blade there protruding from the skin again we continue to have pretty much the same design when it comes to the paint apps as you move through the figures you just have the pink and purples and they just kind of transition back and forth through the entire figure we definitely have a lot more when it comes to the pinkish tones here in the body compared to what you see in the face a lot darker tones up there in the face but a bit brighter as you move back here into the body 
Still, the skin texture continues to look phenomenal, honestly. I would love to actually repaint one of these, but of course I'm going to want to keep this one original. But if I happen to get my hands on another, I would definitely love to give this one a repaint. You can see the muscle definition as you move down the course of the leg down into the foot. We do have some nails painted out with a nice glossy black, which is a plus. And then as you move back up, some more skin wrinkles and stuff here in the lower part of the stomach. And again, very impressive fine detail as you move through. You can see that lighter pinkish tone in the center of the stomach and then again those darker purplish tones sort of bordering around it just highlighting that and again more of that light pinkish tone moving here but we now have the purple kind of running along the side of the spinal column then you've got the pink again and the more purple so kind of uh, just a, a nice healthy mixture I guess of all of these colors as you move back you can see the hip bone as well as the muscle definition again moving down the leg yet another pretty obvious scene here where the leg was connected but not quite as obvious i would say as the, what we had seen in the neck and jaw line you've got the kneecap right there as well as again a pretty nice looking foot sculpt the nails are painted with that glossy black a little bit sloppy but not too bad and then as you move up here you've got a nice looking tail sculpt again very very nice looking fine detail decent paint apps just not realistic you've got a nice curve to the tail as you move out the tail leans toward the dinosaur's right and then if you look here at the underside again pretty darn impressive when it comes to the fine detail bandai really does a great job on the sculpts of their figures when it comes to the very minute details of them and then when you come over here you can now see how the skin is kind of stretching not so many wrinkles or anything over here because the triceratops has its head turned away from us and then as you move back here into the body you can see the legs are kind of held a little bit closer together than what we had seen on the other side really scrunching the skin here in the stomach region up and again it looks pretty close to what we had seen on the initial side very very impressive fine detail throughout just uh, you can see one thing specifically that's a little different is how the tail curves in this direction is causing a lot more skin wrinkles on this side but again very impressive fine detail a gorgeous triceratops sculpt I'm just not a big fan of the paint apps this is like the type of coloration I would expect to see on Dino Dan or Dino Dana or something like that not what I would expect to see on a real living breathing triceratops but still the fact that it is you know such bright unrealistic tones gives it at least a unique look so there's a plus as far as that goes still pretty darn cool again considering it is a bandai dinosaur and we don't get too many of those as far as a size goes for the triceratops from maybe the horn might be the longest if we go from the opposing horn to the tail right around seven inches or about the 18 centimeter range for a height just a little over actually i would say closer to three and a half inches but definitely not there exactly or around eight and a half centimeters closing in on 19 but not quite for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack lovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our bandai triceratops and you can see again exactly as i said really quite small definitely one of the figures in this kind of smaller size range because if you actually get the tyrannosaurus i had reviewed you can see a pretty massive size difference between these two so very clearly showing that these are not to scale with each other there are these kind of like supersized versions of these dinosaurs which is what this t-rex basically is there is a uh, two different tyrannosaurus and two different spinosaurus the spinosaurus is the same sculpt different paint apps the two t-rex are different sculpts different paint apps but i don't have one of the two different t-rex quite yet however you can see again two different size ranges for sure and this triceratops belongs in the much smaller size range for another size comparison we also have a mattel velociraptor and dilophosaurus stepping in here next to our triceratops and then we also have a comparison here with the schleich diabloceratops and you can see these two are very similar in size so if you do happen to have that schleich diabloceratops in your collection that will absolutely give you an idea of the size of this triceratops and then when it comes to triceratops here is the newer version of the mojo fun triceratops i think this is the newest version that they have out next to the bandai version and again this helps to show you that these two as well are pretty similar in size if you happen to have the mojo fun version and then for one final comparison with a very similarly sized triceratops we also have the batat version here next to the bandai version just to iron out the size with one final comparison
So this Bandai Triceratops figure is pretty cool. Sculpt-wise, it's gorgeous, honestly. Like, it has a really nice, really highly detailed sculpt. Pretty cool pose as well. You know, you've got kind of like a uh, surprised, almost in fear sort of a pose, so I can only assume it's got some sort of a predator nearby, most likely a T-Rex or something, and uh, obviously is about to protect itself because the mouth being open so wide, the eyes being open so wide, just gives you the feeling feeling and look of like a surprised almost scared triceratops the fine detail throughout is honestly incredible when you look at this up close it has some fantastic skin texture which i think bandai is very good at when it comes to their figures like this is sculpting out the fine detail they did a great job on the skin texture of this the paint apps are definitely not so great i am not a fan of the coloration we have here the purples and pinks definitely don't do it for me i feel like it's very unrealistic and not the coloration i would expect to see on a triceratops not saying that they couldn't include some of these colors i just feel like the tones might be a little bit different but uh, again, as I said earlier, I've never seen a Triceratops, so who knows? Maybe they are pink and purple. I don't know. But in my personal preference, it's not the type of color I would like to see on a Triceratops. That said, it is nicely applied, at least. There is very nice smooth transitions and stuff when it comes to these colors. They're just not that great as a whole. And the figure is a good bit smaller than your average Bandai dinosaur that I've reviewed up until this point, so... That uh, will make it a little easier to fit into your collection. It also should help to make the price tag a little more you know, easy to swallow when it comes to the other ones. I will try to find a link in the description to uh, you know, send you straight to somewhere, probably eBay, that might have this for sale. It's still probably going to be a little bit pricier just because these figures seem a little bit hard to get here in the United States, so the price tag will probably be a little bit higher than it really should be for something like this, but that's really the only way I know of to tell you guys to grab one is through eBay or somewhere like that. So again, I'll try my best to find a link to include in the description. If you are interested, check that out, and also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.